Hi everyone, Andy here again. So, how are you all coping with the uh, lockdown? Well, one of the good things that has just happened for me was this box arrived all the way from the United States. And in this box are some Chroma narrowband and broadband filters for this beautiful QSI 6162 camera that I was lucky enough to win recently in their competition. So that meant we had to get new filters. Now, previously I've been an Astrodon man. Astrodon make fantastic filters. Unfortunately, it just came down to dollars at the end of the day. So I looked at Barters and I looked at Astronomics and all the other brands. And then I heard about these guys, Chroma, who believe it or not, actually used to make Astrodon filters up until I think about 2011. So these guys come with a great reputation and fantastic quality. So I thought, well, let's take a punt and check them out. There's a bunch of guys in the United States using them and a couple of my colleagues here in Australia have uh, had good results as well. So I thought, okay, here we go. So I'll give you a little disclaimer here. I did open this box earlier wearing my mask and gloves just to make sure there were no nasties present. So I can open it safely now while I'm talking to you. And inside, obviously there's some information here which I'll get to you in just a second. And then underneath all this packaging here, we dig down and we find two very nice little designer boxes here. So I'll just get rid of this box. And we'll show you what's inside here. So I've ordered a full narrowband set of HA03 and S2 filters as well as LRGB. And I really like these boxes, they're really cool. And when you get into this, uh, you can then see the, the filters themselves. And they come beautifully packaged. There's a little uh, tab on the back to keep them safe. And then you pop them open. And these are the two inch round filters that you can see pretty cool and they're really nice and clean and they've done a really good job of presenting them. So there's the O2, the SI, the HA and in here I'm pretty sure that's where the, the LRGB ones are lurking. Yep, here we go. So there's a full set of um, luminance, red, green and blue filters, again beautifully wrapped. Again, you know, the packaging is pretty cool. And this is so squeaky clean, it's, it's beautiful. There's the luminance one. There you go. Really, really nice stuff. And these, of course, will just screw into the filter wheel on my eight position QSI camera. But what also intrigued me a little bit was in the important documents. The, um, actually, the company's actually done some a full spectrographic analysis on each filter. So you know exactly what the transmission is of every one. So for example, this is the five nanometer S2 filter. And you can clearly see on this diagram that it's running over exactly five nanometers. Very amazing. And in fact, I think I just checked here before and the They've done the same for the um, for the O3 here. Now the O3 in this case is a three nanometer filter. So why have I got a three nanometer filter and five nanometer filters? I'm shooting here in my home in suburban Victoria in Australia. And it's, I'm in a city of five million people full of light pollution. So the three nanometer oxygen filter works beautifully for cutting out not in light pollution, but also the moon. So I can shoot pretty much any time it's clear. And given this is Melbourne, Australia, it's, well, we get a lot of weather here. In fact, there's a saying here that if you don't like the weather, come back in 20 minutes. Um, but when we do get a good clear night, I want to make the most of it and I want to be able to shoot. So that's why I've gone for the five nanometer HA, the five nanometer S2 and the three nanometer O3 in this case, and some of the other, other manufacturers won't even make those tight wavelengths. So that's why I've also opted for the Chroma factory in this case. So we'll load these up into the camera and 
now that we finally got the camera, the filters and the adapters to mate it to my new telescope, well, we should be up for first light as soon as the sky's clear again. <laughs> and uh, then we'll be right to go. So looking forward to posting another video soon of first light. But in the meantime, thanks to the Kramer people. Now I should also put in a little mention here that I got those from Tolga Astro. Now um, there's a few dealers in the States, but uh, Tolga spoke to me personally and uh, pretty much guaranteed that I'd be very happy with this result. And uh, I thank him for that. Cheers, Tolga. Uh, Tolgaastro.com. All right, guys, that's it for me. Signing off. Clear skies.